If you were to go out today and fly the plane and it comes down hard and you break a piece, we can come back here, we can hit print, get the piece out of the printer, snap it into place, and we're ready to fly again immediately. Next down. Pitch down, it's correct here. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. Left. Left. Roll left. So the Razor is a fully 3D printed UAV designed from the ground up to take advantage of 3D printing technology. It's full airframe, everything including the skin is 3D printed. We've gone through a few iterations on this aircraft, not only structurally but also aerodynamically. And the 3D printing process has allowed us to do that very rapidly and very easily. We can design the system on the computer, we can analyze it, we can do flight simulations, we can model that in a CAD program, and then that model transfers directly to the 3D printer. 3D printing is a very interesting process. And the best way to think about this or visualize it is to think of your normal inkjet printer at home. When it goes back and forth, it's dropping little drops of ink to create a two-dimensional image. Now imagine that it drops little drops of plastic instead. Now when it goes back and forth, it's actually creating a three-dimensional object. If we had tried to build this airplane five or 10 years ago without the capabilities of 3D printing, we would be building a conventional aircraft and they're usually all hand-built. They're very labor-intensive. A 3D printed airplane can truly be built completely autonomously. We've simplified the assembly process so it's really a matter of clicking together a couple of parts. Somebody asks you, what are you doing this summer? And I get to tell them I'm working on developing a fully autonomous drone. And guess what? We 3D printed it. And that's just a really cool thing to say because it's on the cutting edge of so many different technologies all at the same time.